Hi guys. Okay, now we continue our learn about Earth's moon. Okay, our topic today consists of five characteristic of the moon, rotation and revolution of the moon, the phases of the moon, solar calendar and lunar calendar. Okay, let's start. We have to answer this question first. What is a moon? The moon is an astronomical body orbiting Earth as its only natural satellite. The moon was formed about 4.5 billion years ago when, according to one theory, the Earth slammed into another early planet. Debris from this collision began to orbit Earth and accumulated, forming today's moon. Okay guys, the first the characteristics of the moon. The moon is the brightest and largest object in our night sky. The moon is Earth's only natural satellite. It goes around the Earth at a distance of about 385,000 kilometers, with a radius of 1,737.5 kilometers. The moon is less than a third the width of Earth. The moon is a rocky, solid surface body with a much of its surface crater and peat from impacts. The moon has a very thin and tenuous atmosphere called an exosphere. It's not a breathable. The moon composed of an iron-rich core plus mantle and crust containing minerals and made of magnesium, oxygen, and silicon. Okay, now synchronous rotation of the moon. I have a question for you. When you stare up the moon, do you ever notice do you always see the same side of the moon facing the earth? A lot of people think it's because the moon doesn't rotate. Are you agree with that? I hope not, because the moon does rotate. So how can we always see the same side? Okay, let's take a look. First, let's start the moon rotating on its axis. You'll think we will see all the side, but now Let's put the moon in orbit around the Earth. The time in which the moon rotates, once in the same amount of time it takes to orbit around the Earth once. The moon's rotation and revolutions speed are synchronized so the moon is in the type of synchronous orbit. The result from the Earth's point of view we always see the same side of the moon. Okay, now phases of the moon. These eight phases are in order new moon, waxing crescent, first quarter, waxing gibbous, full moon, waning gibbous, third quarter, and waning crescent. The cycle repeats once a month, every 29.5 days. Our moon doesn't shine, it reflects, just like daytime here on Earth. Sunlight illuminates the moon, just like the Earth, the moon has a day side and night side, with a half of its sunlight and half of it in the darkness at one time. The cycle of moon phases begins with new moon. At new moon, the moon appears completely dark because the unlit side is facing the earth. The moon is the only time in the lunar cycle when solar eclipse could happen because it's the only time that the moon is between the sun and the earth. After a few days, once moon has moved along a little in this orbit, we can begin to see some of the moon's day side from the earth. What we see is just a thin slice of light called a crescent. We call it a waxing crescent. The crescent moon will grow a little bit thicker every night until it reaches the next phases. First quarter. The first quarter moon is sometimes called a half moon because it appears to us that half of the moon is illuminated. But it's called the first quarter because the moon is one quarter of the way through its cycle. As the days pass, the moon continues to grow, soon entering its next phase, the waxing gibbous. Gibbous means hum or swollen, and again we call it the waxing because it grows thicker every night until it reaches the next phase, the full moon. 
A full moon is the biggest, brightest, easiest space of the moon to see. The moon rises at sun and it's up all night. So if you are outside and sky is clear, it's hard to miss. When the full moon comes close to the points of its orbit that are closest or farthest away from Earth, we call it a supermoon or micromoon, respectively. A few days after the full moon, the moon will be gibbous again, but this time it's waning gibbous. Waning means shrinking or getting smaller, and so the moon will be waning for the rest of its orbit. The next species is another half moon, but this time it's called third quarter, or sometimes last or final quarter, because the moon is three quarters of the way through its orbit. Soon the half moon shrinks into a waning crescent, which will continue to shrink night after night until it vanishes completely into the next new moon. Okay guys, the last we're gonna learn about the solar calendar and lunar calendar. The solar calendar or Shamsia calendar is the system based on the seasonal year or approximately 365 days. The time it takes the Earth to revolve once around the sun. The solar calendar is widely accepted as a standard in the world. A lunar calendar or Camaria calendar is a calendar based on the monthly cycles of the moon's space. A new moon occurs every 29.5 days. Astronomers call the time between new moons Sidonic month. Okay, if we can count one month, 29.5 days multiplied by 12 months. The total is 354 days, so a year on the lunar calendar has 354 days. Okay, I think it's enough for today. Thank you for your attention. God bless you.